Hi, my name is Glenn Hussman and I'm making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to install free accounting software on a Windows computer. Now, free accounting software, um, also desktop, also known as FAS3 Desktop, is a Java software. So the first thing you need to do is install Java. You might already have it, um, or um, you might want to... Um, check it's installed or reinstall it okay now normally you'd go to Oracle to get Java but in January 2019 Oracle announced that it's not providing updates to to businesses to, for Java for free so um, this is really no big deal because Java's basically become an open source project and in fact I developed the software on open source Java so there's really no reason to use the Oracle Java rather than the open source version. So to get the open JDK um, I, there's, there's probably several different places to get it from. Um, I've checked out these guys called Bellsoft. Their website is bell-sw.com um, and it works so I suggest using these guys. Now, um, the one you want is Java version 8. Um, so click on this link, it says download JDK 8. And then on that page, there is um, um, two options for Windows. There's the JDK version or the JRE version. You only need the JRE version. If you get the JDK version, then okay, that'll work. But um, you only need the JRE version and the download is about half the size. So um, so just download that there. I've already downloaded it so um, I'll just go and install it. And here it is, so to install it just double click on it. I'm just going to accept all the defaults. Okay, so that's Java installed. Your next step is to install free accounting software. So here is the free accounting software homepage and there's an option on the left which says desktop software download now. Click on that. On this page there is, well there's the video which I'm recording right now of how to install free accounting software. But above that there is a link to download the Windows installer. Click here. So we've got an installer executable that will do the install for you. So um, I've already I've already saved it. You could go right click and save target as um, and, and save it. Um, I already saved it, so I'll just double click on it. Again, I'll just accept all the defaults, and it is a really quick install. Okay, it gives you a F icon on your desktop that you can just double click on to start up the software. It's taking a little bit of time. I think I double clicked on it. Yes. Alright, there we go. Okay, when you start up the software you'll see this message doing version check. Okay, that went pretty quick but it did say doing version check and um, it checks that you're on the latest version. If you're not, it'll prompt you to download and install the latest version. Now I've got this um, screen expanded, or uh, the text sort of expanded a bit so that you'll be able to see it in the video, but if I shrink it, um, you'll see that it normally looks like this in a two column layout. Okay, but anyway, um, this, this first page is for you to set up your FAS identity. It's a fresh install, so it's prompting you to set up a new FAS identity and um, um, and that's what you should uh, I guess at that stage set up now um, this software oh sorry this um, this video is not about using the software it's just about installing it so I'll just close that um, window um, and look you know if you if you did that and that worked for you that's it you can stop watching now um, and just go and use free accounting software so, 
I've had some feedback from people though that they can sometimes get into this um, this problem where they um, uh, where it won't start up and th really the only problem you can get into is where you've installed free accounting software before you installed Java and that causes it to get a little bit confused so I'll show you how to fix that so for, first of all let me just um, deinstall Java okay and um, in fact I'll deinstall free accounting software so free account software gets installed in this in this um, C users your username app data roaming um, FAS identity and if you've used the installer then there's an uninstall um, executable in that folder I'll just completely delete this FAS identity folder you want to be a little bit careful doing that because if you delete your FAS identity you won't be able to open up any files that you've created using free accounting software anymore okay so now I'm gonna I haven't got Java installed anymore and I haven't got free accounting software installed anymore I'm just going to install free accounting software to um, show you guys what happens if you do it in the wrong order okay this the installer doesn't check and say hey you haven't got Java installed probably a future improvement that I could do um, anyway if you double click it's gonna say um, searching for Java W um, can't locate it alright Java W isn't on the computer so um, yeah and that's what you get so then you go alright well Java's not on my computer I better go install it so you go and install it cool it's installed and then you hopefully just double click on this and it'd work you'd think but no it doesn't okay so now I think you can maybe get around this just by running this free accounting software desktop installer again so let's see how that goes alright there you go it's that easy okay so another trick that I know works is you don't have to run the free accounting software desktop installer again but you know it's that quick to run it it's no problem if you click on properties um, you can actually um, you'll notice that it's looking in the wrong place for Java and then you can actually delete this first part of the um, path to Java W just leave that as saying Java W and it will um, go and find Java I'm, I'm kind of suggesting that people just rerun the setup um, in the right order because it's probably easier for your average user anyway I, I don't really know any other um, problems with the install but um, if you find one let me know okay um, I hope this video has been...